Hello, I'm Rob. And I'm Rob. And as I say, it's on the screen there, we are doing UFC 3 today, talking about video games. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, who are these two um, handsome fellas? I recognise one of them. Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson, and I think the thing that immediately you need to talk about when you talk about this game is the production value, you know. Um, I, can speak for you. I can speak for you too, Rob, in saying that when you play FIFA for a long time, you kind of forget that it's production design and that EA can do production design and make a game look like the reality of a sport. Well, I've got to say, these really character well. models are pretty good. I mean, uh, I played UFC 2, and they had some really good character models for that. But this one looks, it does look the business. Oh, it does look the business. I mean, it looks like you are playing the TV show, or the, the, the pay-per-view, I should say, more accurately. So there is an, an, an amount of reality to it. I don't know how true that is, because I don't watch UFC. But um, I guess we've just got to react to what goes on on screen here. <laughs> uh, but while these are just sort of warming up, you know, it does look very good. Um, the idea did cross my head. Um, why don't EA do a wrestling game? Um, 2K have WWE okay, for so... a while. But what about if EA took it like FIFA and they got like Japanese promotions, Mexican promotions, English promotions, German promotions like WXW and made like a world of wrestling game um, with the people who make this. I get into what's good about this in a little bit, but it's just as I was playing it, I was thinking the guys behind this would make a cracking wrestling game and I think that would be the hook for it. Okay. Uh, I've noticed they're doing the same movements over and over again. Is this just still part of the build-up now at the at this point? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it, that's why I had to like, talk about that because this is a very sort of slow and dramatic in fact, I think the build up to these matches is actually longer than the the, uh, the actual um, matches. Match yeah, themselves. I've watched uh, I've watched a fair bit of UFC and MMA and uh, other forms of ultimate fighting, as they call it, and some of the matches have been over in like one hit. This it looks very swish just then, but now it transitions to me taking control, and it's like a, a child, an idiot child, All is right. um, playing the game because. Um, I've not played a game like this before. Okay. And I guess I guess the thing I talk about here is um I don't know what the games are called, was it Fight Nights? The old boxing games that yeah. they all the way back. Yeah. I was kind of started approaching like that, as you can tell, I'm punching a lot. Ah oh, right, okay, because uh, I thought you were playing this like you'd play one of those two D <laughs> fighting games or Street Fighter or Tekken or something like that. No, I mean uh, it's a strange game because uh, UFC is I guess it's strategy based. Okay. And I don't know the sport that well, so I don't know the ideas of strategy. So I've I've got this in easy. I know that makes me an idiot because people play these games on like hardcore mode or oh, uh, real mode. Um, yeah, but I'd say the majority of people who play UFC games probably start off playing it on easy. Nobody dives into hard yeah. mode on these because hard <laughs> mode is just, it's too hard. Yeah, I mean, uh, as you can see there, it's got the, I don't know what you call this, but it's basically the the, the, the transition mode or the, the yeah, submission the tra- mode. Transitions there. Transitions uh, to submission. And, um, yeah, it's transitions. And uh, when that happens, it was over quite quickly there. But when it happens, um, you press uh, R, the R trigger, to move to a different transition to find try and find your... Yeah, way into a submission. You can't just say like quick triangle to submit. Yeah, um, you got to work your way to a position where you have the power, like uh, you get behind them and hold them round by the neck, so you can get the the rear naked choke, or like focus on the arm so you can get like an arm bar, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, it actually makes you work for the win then. Um. Unless you're me and you just continuously punch them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like that about it because uh, it does have strategy. Yeah. But at the same time, it doesn't punish you for not knowing it. Okay. So if you're like an utter idiot and you don't know the spot, 
You just sat up. Look at me, I'm Conor McGregor there, and I'm just punching and punching and punching. See, this is what I'm finding amusing. Is, uh, this is what I'm finding amusing. You're, it's Conor McGregor who you're playing, but he's fighting like, uh, you know, uh, like it's a Friday night special. Yeah. Down like, uh, behind the pub after. Yeah, exactly. Last, uh, last order. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's. It's one of these games. I do fight like this, but uh, as you get more experience with the game, it's the true with all sorts of simulation, um, fight, combat stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's a learning curve. Yeah. Um, and it's sort of a more realistic learning curve. I mean, if you were taking up the spot, you wouldn't jump at it. Um, yeah, like I mean, people do with sort of more traditional fighting games. I mean, if you took up UFC, your first fight, you'd probably lose. I'd just be throwing my fist around, much like this. Um, whereas in a more traditional fighting game, you've got to sort of um, learn combo strings. Yeah. Um, but now, enough of that. Uh, I This is um, career mode, and yeah. I tried to make New Japan Man. Is that why you called him Hiromu Takahashi? Yeah, because they had Takahashi as one of the surnames, so I thought, who do I know is called Takahashi? Hiromu Takahashi, the ticking time bomb. Let's do him. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, and oh, his, wow. Twitter handle is Shibata, his Twitter handle is Shibata's boy, so uh, yeah. like Katayari Shibata. Um, and this is very in-depth, and I didn't particularly want to get involved in it that much, because it's the sort of thing where you could sink in hundreds of hours to try and make it look like the person in question. Oh, and wow. I just kind of wanted to get the point. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get... Very I get, good character models, I will agree. Oh, yeah, the character models are amazing, but... uh Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> yeah. I was trying, that was my attempt to be authentic to Hiromu, but it didn't last long, so... So you should have stuck with the blue yeah. hair. The blue hair was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's the mode where you're really going to get the the most out of in the uh, the career mode because all the other modes are sort of um, well, you just single fights, multiplayer fights, yeah, submission fights. Well, you know, whereas the career mode, which EA yeah, have become incredibly good at, yeah, um, it's more about sort of your arc, uh, getting better at the game and learning the game. I think that's one of the things I've noticed about EA's uh, sports games re- uh, of the last few years um, is that the other modes have seemed to have become the play with your mates or train for the career mode. So the other modes are effectively just have fun with your friends or just you know practice, practice, practice so you get good so you can actually do something useful with the career mode. Actually have yeah, a fulfilling uh, career mode. And uh, this... On screen now, it's there's many of these little sort of video packages scattered throughout the game and scattered throughout career mode, which gives it sort of the feel of a TV production. All right, and, you know, uh, like there, Dana White, who should not ever act because his delivery is so wooden. <laughs> um, there's these things called, you know, uh, UFC minutes as well, sort of like a pre setup to what's going to be happening. Yeah. Um. In the coming game. But uh, yeah, this is career mode. So you get like four weeks between matches. Uh, you can promote by going on Twitter. You can learn moves. You can do some training like like on screen there. Um, there's like a sequence of things that you can can do. Um, you can stream games as one of them on the, um, on the match promo thing, which is odd. I'll, I'll be honest. Okay, and uh, you can you can um, become a member of each gym. You pay like a, a number of well, an amount of money for each uh, gym membership. Hmm. And uh, there's like a, a Brazilian a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gym. There's a boxing gym, a traditional MMA gym, and it goes and uh, progresses through a variety of things. Okay, so is this your and, first uh, this fight? Is how, this is still it's me. This is still me um, pre um, UFC because you have to start qualify to be joining the UFC. Yeah, all this right. Is like so... sort of, um, back straight fights. All right, so you're up against and, uh, uh, Hobo in shorts then. <laughs> Diego Fernandez. Hobo in shorts then. 
It's like, do you remember the uh, that Simpsons one where yeah. Maul gets uh, Homer to take up boxing? Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, is it yeah. a bit like that? Oh yeah, I mean, as you can see there on the screen, the system it's got is every uh, part of the body, the legs, the light, the body, the head, yeah, and the block have a stamina bar, and if you work that stamina bar down, that person will fall over because you've worked that bit of the uh, body well enough. And right. the head is the easiest one, obviously. Yeah. But I noticed you were doing a lot of low kicks there as well. That's the get his guard open. That's what I mean by strategy. Once you learn the game a bit better, it like the possibilities start opening. And in the case of career mode, those gyms I was talking about, yeah. uh, what's very good about them is with each gym and the training you do at each gym, it gives you options to learn moves and learn perks. So right. your character, your career mode character, it's not like this is the one character. It can be. It's This is the character that you want it to be by the options that you pick. So it's very customizable and open in that, I think. Okay. And I will say, when you beat someone, yeah, it's so satisfying because you've had to work for it. And unlike those two D fighting games and uh, games like Tekken and Street Fighter, where you basically just spam the buttons and anyone can button mash and win. I mean, there is a degree of that too, but it's not like completely born headed about it. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I played, having played UFC two. Um, I know that uh, there's a lot more. This is more of a technical fighting game. Um, you yeah, because it, it's got a stamina bar. So yeah. if you do big moves, and you can, you land them, the the great. But if you miss them, you're basically wide open to get a massive blow and be out for the count. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of these other fighting games, um, a lot of the kind of the two D and uh, fighting games and the three D fighting games. Uh, that are more Street Fighter based, that are more side on uh, fight each other based. They tend to use uh, a variation of the old rock paper scissors method that they had. You know, uh, a high punch beats a mid block and a low block, and a you know mid block beats a high block and a, sorry mid punch beats a high high block and a low block and blah blah blah. You know the one that I'm talking about. It's something like that. Anyway, yeah, I can't remember the exact. Yeah, method, but, uh, but for this, it's, it's it's a game which has an, a massive amount of depth. Yeah, um, and uh, longevity. That was a good punch, by and the way. it's a good thing, really. And you, oh yeah, it was because uh, it, it, it's on like a two-year cycle. It, it's not like a annual game, so it yeah. gives you enough to put your back into it and get really, you know, stuck into. Yeah, and I think like what they're are working now is brilliant, and I do stand by that idea that I mentioned earlier. That wrestling one, I think the the yeah, EA could do a fantastic game of that. So there's a free idea. Hire me if you want. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, but, uh, I, I, yeah, actually, that's our, we... I actually do agree with you, yeah. That is a UFC 3. Um, thanks for watching. Click like if you agree with us. Uh, comment below. Click on some of the links on screen or you can find some podcasts that we do by heading over to thegeekshow.co.uk and checking out some of the things that we have there. But until next time, I've been Rob. I've been Rob. Thanks for watching.